Pablo Gunner here to talk nerdy to you about Ahsoka Part 4, Fallen Jedi. So right away we have mystery. Who is the Fallen Jedi? Who's gonna be the Fallen Jedi? Is it gonna be Sabine? Is it gonna be Ahsoka? Is it Balin? Because is it someone who is already a Fallen Jedi? Who is it about exactly? So right away you're like, I don't know. It's, it's, someone might die. Someone might be dying today. We don't know who it's going to be. It's going to be crazy. The Sith, if you can call them that. Fallen Jedi, perhaps. Send mercenaries after Ahsoka and Sabine. They have to deal with them, as well as Hu Yang. Hu Yang has to deal with them first. I was so terrified for Hu Yang. I was like, no, please, I don't want anything bad to happen to that sarcastic SOB. And it was so great because Hu Yang says, hey, stick together. You always work better as a team so they go they face off against the inquisitor and the apprentice sabine rematch against the apprentice and ahsoka rematch against the inquisitor you see how that goes down that was a surprise they didn't go into it too much okay yeah that makes complete sense if you have seen clone wars you completely get it. But then they split up because Ahsoka has to go deal with Balin and stop them from getting to or going to and getting Thrawn. And it's going pretty well. Like, that's the thing is ugh, the dialogue was so good and that's what I miss. This has what I miss from Star Wars, which is that mental fight where you're getting inside the head of your opponent and kind of like their, their soul too, right? Like, you want to break them down before you even start to fight. And then you'll probably even talk crap during the fight, too. That was so well done, and I love that so much. And the fight was going so superbly. And then they had to do this thing to, like, make it unmatched. And then that was crazy. There's no way Ahsoka's dead. It's her show. The show is titled after her. She, there's no way that she's dead. There's no way that she's the fallen Jedi. There's something to be said about a Sith who was able to convince people to do the bad thing and feel like it's make them feel like it's the right thing. That's what one of them does and it works. That kind of sucked. That was kind of heart dropping. And at some point I thought like, oh, this person's gonna, this is part of this, their plan. Like they're just doing it to get on the inside so they can mess things up on the inside so it doesn't work. It wasn't. The whole time we have Hera comes to the rescue with her own little crew of rebels just disobeying orders and once again saying things to her son that may corrupt him. And that was crazy. I feel like they're laying the foundations for possibly Jason becoming dark down the road. Still doing the legacy of the force. Revelation invincible these storylines now we have no Jaina right now but they could incorporate this into and then just have Ray as the Jaina I don't know how this is gonna match up but I, I I'm just workshopping here I'm just I'm just spitballing because I'm seeing it and it's giving me hope. Hera comes to the rescue with her own little crew of rebels a little too late. And it doesn't turn out good for some of the rebels. Really, it, it doesn't turn out good for, for any of us. They essentially failed. And I feel like we have all Sabine to entirely blame. I mean, you could say, hey, that's that's also on Ahsoka for being like, hey, you should know her. You, you knew her, that she was not going to make the right choice. Like, you should have known she was not going to make the right choice. When it came down to it. Like you were asking her. She didn't give you a definitive answer. You just said. You know what? Park it. You're done. I'm not going to involve you. You're, you're finished. Better off. And then the ending was very confusing. And intriguing. And interesting. And crazy. And I don't know where that's going to lead. But I do know what it's from. If you've seen Rebels. You know. But you go. Is this a dream? Is this a vision? Is this a memory? I don't know. We'll see. Talk nerdy to me. May the force be with you. And check out this sweet TNTM merch at TNTMTheShow.com. We are also on TikTok. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, YouTube, all of the places. So check us out and talk nerdy to me.